Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian. Uh, today we're going to do a little bit of a gear review, but we're going to review a gift that I got. Uh, my daughter and my son-in-law gave me this as a gift. It came all the way from Alaska. So my son-in-law, he is in the Marines and he's stationed up in Alaska. So uh, I'm real excited about it. And they knew I've wanted this so bad, so they sent it to me. Thank you so much, guys. So why not? let you guys benefit from a gift so this way we can review it as well um, so far so good everything's been great about it but we'll we'll get to that in a minute let's get all the technical stuff out of the way and then we'll get on to the real review so uh, this is the Yeti 500X Goal Zero um, it is a 500 watt uh, with 300 watt AC inverter and also it's got a 1200 watt surge it's right about 13 pounds so it's not that heavy and uh, you can charge it in your car over here. And it takes about four to seven hours, it claims, to charge in the car. You can charge them with a solar panel. Uh, if you do light use, it said that a you know 20 watt solar panel would be great. Um, if you medium use, a 50 watt solar panel is what you need. But if you're gonna use heavy use like a refrigerator and basically things like that or a power tool or something, then you're gonna need that 100 watt solar panel to charge it back to full capacity so now again this is all manufacturers information don't worry we're going to do our own review on this a uh, practical review but we'll go through of course with what they say um, it claims it can run a CPAP for 10 hours a TV for three hours a refrigerator for seven charge your phone 50 times a laptop 10 times um, it's got two USB ports and two USB-C ports, um, of course the two AC outlets, and it, claim, and, and it claims also that it takes 10 hours to charge it when you plug it into the wall. So I can confirm that part, it did. It did take 10 hours to charge it. So um, with my reviews, I'm going to do practical reviews. I'm going to make sure that what they say, it really holds true to it. So this way, we're going to take stuff around the house that you would normally use it for and actually do it. Uh, we're going to plug a refrigerator into it, see what it, how long it runs, a deep freeze, and so forth. We're going to try different things, power tools, uh, circular saw. We're going to try all of that stuff. You know, not just some little small light and a little tiny fan like I see some people do. We're actually going to try regular pr uh, products around the house and see just how long it'll, you, you can use it for. So, of course, this thing would be great, I can tell right now, for especially for like the CPAP and for short duration power outages. That's going to be the big benefit of this. So if the power goes out for one or two hours, you don't want to drag your generator out, plug everything up. By the time you get it set up and started, boom, the power's back on. So I think that's where these are really going to come in handy is for those short power outages. Now, if you know a storm's coming and you lose power, naturally, you're going to use your generator, and this can be a supplement as well. But I really think these are going to be a kind of a game changer for people. Um, now, I know they're expensive, and usually I don't do this for gifts. Sorry, Cheyenne, Jacob. Uh, but they're $700 for this one. So, um, you know, I know everyone has to kind of know the price out there. But uh, and so they're very expensive. So that, that's why I want to make sure we do these reviews on certain um, items and, and uh, certain uh, app appliances around the house. So this way you don't have to buy one oversized one that you might not use. So this way we can get the most practical use out of what we really need it for. So you're not overbuying and underbuying. So anyway, so uh, look for these reviews. I'm going to keep them short so this way people don't get too bored. And uh, but you can actually see and I'll time it and everything will be in these videos. So look for those other videos as the weeks come around. I'll just do them randomly and pop them out. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we'll see you in the next video.